Well, how's everybody doing? Good. We have one person who clapped. Very good. Um, you might want to look at the person to the right and left to see if they're breathing this morning. You might want to look, do that. Um, it was kind of hard to tell from the singing this morning. You know, um, one of the things I just want to challenge you to do next tonight or next week or whenever you come back to church, let's sing with some great enthusiasm, okay? One of the ways that we show God that we love him and that we worship him is to sing. And we're not singing just so these guys can hear you. Um, we are singing. What was that? Um, I think so. Yeah, I appear to be. Appear to be on mute. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> some of them, some of you need to check my pack next week, make sure I'm on. Um, let's just sing and, and be excited about what God wants to do. Might want to turn it down a bit, Melissa. It's kind of echoing up here. Um, this morning, we are going to be doing something uh, that we've been doing for the last several weeks. We've been looking at a series on family. Now, if you came to church wanting to hear a Christmas message, I'm sorry to tell you it's not going to happen right now. We are going to have a great Christmas message tonight, so I want to encourage you to come back for that. You did get to see some kids sing. Weren't they great this morning? Yeah. They did a good job. Uh, if you want to know how hard that is, uh, well, next week we'll have special music just for you. And so you can come up and, and we'll, we'll have you sing. You know, this morning as, as we uh, get ready for Christmas, how many of you need to go shopping after service today? For your Christmas gifts. Okay, great. A, I'm joining you. I'll see you at the 99 cent store. It's going to be really fun. We can get a whole lot for a buck. And uh, I just want to encourage you to wait till we're done before you run out the door, okay? Um, I, I found this saying uh, on the internet, and it's the top 10 things to say about Christmas gifts you don't like. How many of you ever got a Christmas gift you don't like? Right? If the person sitting next to you, don't tell us what it is, all right? They gave it to you. This is what you can say this Christmas if you get a present that you don't like, okay? Top 10 things. Here we go. Number 10 is this. <laughs> well, that was pretty good. Number 9. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I'm just going to skip 10. It wasn't that funny. <laughs> Number 9. I really don't deserve this. No, really, I don't deserve this. <laughs> Number eight. Boy, if I hadn't recently shot up four sizes, this would fit great. <laughs> Number seven. I love it, but I'm afraid of the jealousy it will create. Isn't that great? <laughs> Number, Number uh, six. There you go. Well, well, well. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> So you have to think about that. Number five, if the dog buries it, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Number four, gee, thanks. This will be perfect for wearing around the basement. <laughs> Some of you got that gift, right? Mm -hmm. Bunny outfit. Uh, number three, sadly tomorrow I entered the Federal Witness Protection Program and they told me I can't take anything with me. <laughs> number two, wow, to think, I got this the year I vowed to give all my gifts to charity. <laughs> Isn't that great? This is for those uh, very special gifts, number one. No, really, Speedo underwear is a great gift idea. You guys like that? <laughs> We don't want to see that next week, okay? <laughs> if you have your Bibles, turn with me to Exodus chapter 20. Exodus chapter 20. You know, one of the things about Christmas is that God came, to, came down from heaven. He was born in this manger. And one of the reasons is, is so that we can have peace with God. We're going to take a look at that verse in a second. Um, Exodus chapter 20 tells us, that God created us to have a special time with him, a special time where we can just relax. I want, I want you to notice this verse in Luke 2. To pull out your outline, the top of your outline says this. Luke chapter 2, verse 13 and 14 says this. Suddenly a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, what? Peace, peace to men on whom his favor rests. You know, the reason that Christ came to earth 2,000 years ago was to offer us peace. 
Did you know that? The angels announced it. They said, peace, peace, good, good will to men on whom his favor rests. And the reason Christ came was to offer us peace. Now, I don't know about you, but I've noticed a lot lately that there's not much peace going around the world today. Isn't that true? You know, I was over at, at uh, Walmart yesterday, and it was crazy in Walmart. How many Walmart fans here? I like Walmart, but I just don't like parking up against the back wall at Walmart and then having to walk in and then face those lines. But, you know, people were kind of in a hurry, just running through the aisles and, and knocking people over. And, uh, you know, I did say sorry to that lady, but uh, you know, just running through the aisles and trying to get everything done that needed to get done. And there just doesn't seem to be any peace. Now, I don't know what it is about Christmas, but Christmas just seems to exemplify all the bad stuff. 